many years on a There was not that my soul could depend. My soul cries out for your presence in him. This very heart for your presence in him. In his name I find, in his name I find, in his name I find. stop code when you say your present so far we are 13 million people in the house so Porsche is from uh, 4 to 7 okay about the others kindly say present if you're here. Okay, 
Okay, good evening class. Uh, gandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Welcome to our orientation, RE1 orientation. So far, we are 18 million people in the house. So say present if you are here. So we have uh, Maria Fernandez from 4 to 7 is here already. Also, Adrian Belandres from 435. So we have uh, Janela Ladimora from 4 to 7. Lawrence Maban, you are from 466. We have Clint Ibaya from 435. Good evening, Clint. We have Trisha Carmelo from 466. We have also uh, Takda. What's your stop code, Miss Takda? Uh, Diawara is here. Can you indicate your stop code? We have uh, Kim Christian Aliara from 4 to 7. Good evening. We have uh, Janelle Celebrico from 4 to 5. We have also Marielle Pescadera from 4 to 5. So, Saril John Castillo. Anjali Ascura. We have Nika Legaspi. Good evening. Ella Palomillo from 435. We have also Charine Simora, 427. And uh, Sampolio. Miss Marikinia is here also. And uh, Kitoriano from 466. We have Sophia Diawara, yes, 466. Patrick Plesser from 435. Daniel Peña Rubia, 427. We have uh, Sabelia, 466. The base is uh, from 435. Herapista, 4 to 7. We have also Iron Dave of Pau, 435. Poblete, 4 to 7. Good evening, Jelian. We have uh, Marie Therese Apostol from 4 to 7. Uh, Destine Vince Yukor, 435. Okay, we have also Eroy, 466, and Estelier Liero, 466. So far, we are 49 million people in the house. We have uh, Puig from 4 to 7 and Takda 4 to 7. We have also with us uh, Patrick Yasser 4 to 5 and Kyle, Kyla De La Cruz 466. Good evening also to, okay, Caspilio is here, uh, Hermosa, 466, and Alvarino from 425. So we have uh, Catalan and Chanson, 427. Good 
Good evening also to Galliano and uh, Barrios, 435. Sean Rovan. We have uh, Bernal, 466. And uh, Julio, 47. Good evening also to Wilson Cahindo from 466 and uh, Ina Torwell, 466 as well. Good evening to Ashley Latosa and RC Galeno, 427. So present with us also is Eros Bueno. From four to seven. Okay, so we have uh, at the backstage we have uh, Badoya Gaitano. We have also De Luis, Shifada, and Piatras. Okay, so some more. We have uh, Pilaes. Good evening. And uh, Sulog. Jayhan Sulog. We have also uh, Pifianco, Iloid, and uh, Pahonar, 435. Good evening also to Steven Paolo Palomata from 435. Okay, so we have also Kasumpang and Paniza from 466. Okay, let me welcome uh, your classmates uh, to join us tonight. Okay, good evening everyone. Kindly show your faces. Can you open your cameras and be sure to turn off uh, some of your application there like YouTube. Let's welcome also Simon Aguirre from 45 and uh, LJ Leonor from 47. Okay, can you open your cameras? Actually, uh, I can only accommodate only five for now. Okay. Pakilala mo na kayo. Can you open your cameras and introduce yourselves to your classmates? Okay, so... So, Shifada, claim Christian. Say hello good to our evening, classmates. Sir. Hello, okay, guys. Good evening. <laughs> good evening, Can sir. Can you introduce yourself? Uh, good, good, good evening, sir. Good evening, classmates. I am Live Christian H. Pada from BS Accountancy. Okay, Accountancy. All right. So, good evening to you. Uh, next one. Pagilala ka naman. Uh, Sadi Joy Gaitano, can you open your camera? Hey everyone, my name is CJ Gaitano. I'm from BS Accountancy. Okay, so from Accountancy also. And then uh, Miss Debluis. 
Bethem Hai or Bethem Hay? Can you open your camera? Or Erica Paniza and Miko, the Yupai. Can you turn on your camera for your classmates to see? Okay, Erica, good evening. Good evening, everyone. I'm Erica Paniza from BS Accountancy. Okay, so Miss Panisa from Accountancy. And Miko? Um, good evening, can everyone. Can you introduce yourself? You from BS Accountancy. Okay, we are from Accountancy also. And how do you pronounce that? We have the reunion also with us. Lane. Good evening. And uh, Lee Himera, as well as Ryan De La Cruz. Okay. So, parang naiya pa si ano na umakyat na magpakita ng camera. Okay. Actually, I requested one of you from your section to uh, lead the prayer. So, actually, meron na umakyat pa dito. Gusto sana umakyat din ni Thirst Tree Aguilar and ni Jaira Gale as well as ni Janelle and Eroy. So, pwede mo nang bumaba kayo. Uh, before you go down, can you can you say hi to your classmates? Yung mga nandito sa taas. Krim, can you say hi to your classmates? Okay, so pwede na kayo munang bumaba. By the way, sino gusto mag-lead ng prayer muna before kayo bumaba? And then and we'll in, uh, entertain some of our classmates to come and join uh, us. Siguro si Klim Shepada, can you lead the opening prayer? Can you open your camera and lead the opening prayer with us? Yes, sir. Uh, let's close our eyes and feel the presence of our Lord. Let's pray. Our great God, Father in heaven, we're so thankful for this another, another day that you have added into our life. Dear Lord, as we start our live orientation this evening, we ask for your heavenly wisdom and strength and guidance that you, be, that you would make this live orientation be successful. And also, Lord, also asking for a forgiveness of our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And Lord, this is all we ask in Christ's loving name. We pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, thank you very much, Klim, for leading our prayer for tonight. So, can you say hi to your classmates before you go down? Hi, guys. Good evening. Okay. So, by the way, before you go down, anong mga, anong expectation mo sa klase? Anong in-expect mo matutunan sa klase natin? What do you expect to learn from our class? I am expecting, sir, that. Ah, ano yun? Mas mas strength na mo, sir, ng faith through God. To God. Okay, mas mas strength na ng faith. Okay, very good. Ah, ikaw, Miss Gaitano, sorry, Joy. Ano yun? Expectation mo sa ating klase? Sadi Joy, anjan ka pa ba? Yes, sir. What do you expect uh, from our class? Uh, I expect to learn about my faith in God and um, how to maintain my relationship with Him. Okay, so grow your faith in God. Very good. Huh? So thank you very much. Pwede ka nang bumaba. Uh, also, Clem, si, how about you? Uh, Miss Aguilar, good evening. Good evening, sir. 
Okay, Miss Aguilar, camera so that your classmates can see you. Okay, what are your expectations in our class? I expect that I expect to know more about God and Jesus Christ and to interpret the Bible more and um more profoundly and strengthen my faith to God. <laughs> okay, strengthen your faith to God. Very good. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, how do you pronounce your name? Thirsty. Tissel. My Bill, sir. You can tell me my Bill, Okay, Tissel. Tissel. Okay, thank you, Tissel. Okay, how about you? Uh, Sophia Magbanoa. What do you expect to learn from our class? Sophia, can you open your camera? Or, uh, Bea, the actress. Good evening. Oh, wait. Uh, Mooy. Bumaba na si ano. Okay, Bea, good evening. Are you there? Sibeya, Erica, and uh, Beth and Hay. Expectation mo sa klase natin. Si Mona Limateo is here. She has a problem. She cannot comment now. No? Okay, so let me uh, call others who just came in. Si Padlumata was uh, called earlier. Si Leonor, LJ Leonor. Is here. Si, good evening. Elaine Derayunan from 4 to 7 and Lee Mera from 4 to 7. Ryan Vincent de la Cruz from uh, 4 to 7 also. And Bonifacio Panolino from 4 to 5. The third, uh, Ian Keith Balbastro from uh, Fort Three Five, Shane Chan in there from Fort Seven, Albastro, sorry, Albastro. Good evening also to Ashley, Saluta, Saluta, and Kimi Kangao. Kim Jason, Ikangao. We have also with us uh, Donna Villarde and Mika Buaya. Four to seven. James Pennett. Good evening, James. And Altea Hiner. Okay, sino pa nandito? We will start our orientation in a while. Morata and uh, Romeo. Okay, we have uh, Daniel Hoxon. Good evening, Daniel. Would you like to say hello to your classmates? Good evening, Daniel. Okay, you can you introduce yourself? Daniel? Sir, yes, sir. And then you introduce yourself? Uh, uh, <laughs> um... Uh, hello, hello, sir. Good evening. I am Daniel Oxon from uh, College of St. John Ross. Uh, 
Do I have anything to say? <laughs> okay, what's your course? Oh, I am currently um, taking BS Accountancy, sir. Okay, from the BS Accountancy also. So, good evening. Lawrence, good evening also. Uh, bagitin mo yung mga classmates mo, i-shoutout mo sila dyan. We have Lawrence and Caruso. Lawrence and Ativo. And Caruso. Enriquez from 435. We have uh, Ren, Ren Nasalarda and 427. And dito rin si uh, Sophia Magbanoa and Paul Milanes. Okay, so we call on also Chiquito 466. And si Kevin Obin Obinio. Obinia. Chiquito. 466. Okay. Can you help me? No, si, si Kevin is here. Uh, can Philip Delyomes from 45? Of course, we have. Uh, uh, and dito na kanina. For 466, si Adrian Hamelo from 435. Si Jed. Okay. Jed, by the way, was my student uh, when he was in grade 7. Michael Bien Tupas, good evening, and Lega Don. And of course, we have uh, Shani Rose Alcolea. Okay, sino pang hindi nakaka attendance? So far, we have 78 million people in the house. So let us start with our orientation. So I would like to welcome all of you to our RE1, Religion and Ethics 1. This is uh, our subject in the first semester. It is an institutional subject that is not uh, found in other schools. Okay, and dito pala si Miss Santiago from 466, Tumahabol. And dito rin si uh, Se Evidente from 4 to 7, Sebastian. And of course, si Aleja Mejeraga from 466. Okay, with us tonight actually are uh, two, three sections uh, under me in the third subterm. We have the stop code 466. And the stop code, 4 to 7, they are from the accountancy class. And of course, we have the stop code, 435, from the College of Engineering. So this semester, I have uh, the three of you, the three sections under me. So I include you in uh, one session for orientation. But of course, when we start our class uh, tomorrow, uh, I'll be meeting you uh, per section for our introduction. So, nandito rin si June Angel Kaya Biab. Good evening. And uh, si Nicole Dumancas from 4 to 7. By the way, we are live in YouTube. And uh, this is actually a uh, an unlisted uh, broadcast. No? Kung sino rin yung may link, you'll be able to open this broadcast. So, if you do not have the link, you cannot open the broadcast as well. Okay. So, I have guests uh, with me. Yung mga guests natin na uh, uh, nandito sa taas, no? So, si Betham High, nandito lang siya. Si Daniel, si Bea de Atras. Actually, nandito rin si Sari Joy Gaetano. 
at saka si Nicole Gaitan, no? So later on, may mga katanungan ako, pwede kayong mag-back in kung anong gusto nyo nga sabihin or may mga tanong kayo. And ang dyan sa baba, you can also ask questions with regards to our topic. So sabi ni Danielle Oxon na bumaba, uh, shout out sa 466 na mga Lodi Cakes, Lodi Cakes. Okay, so let's start our class for tonight with the uh, lesson proper. So our lesson for tonight will start with the introduction. By the way, our subject is RE1 or Religion and Ethics 1. So as of the moment, we are 80 million people in the house. So can you see the screen? Say yes. Uh, can you comment yes if you can hear me clearly? Or if you can see this the slideshow I'm presenting. Andito sa taas. Ayos lang kayo dyan. Nakikinig sa akin. Alright. So, let's begin our yes, orientation. Sir. This subject is uh, Religion and Ethics 1. It is offered every first summit. Alright. So, thank you very much. So, huwag kayong mahiyang magsalita dyan para, nga, para hindi naman ako nag-iisa lang dito sa taas. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. At the time, loud and clear. Sana hindi tayo magka-problema sa signal at uh, marinig niyo talaga ako ng clear. By the way, dalawa yung ating RE. We have RE1 for the first semester and RE2 for the second semester. So actually, uh, it's too late to welcome you because it's the third subterm. We have been here in CPU in our school for the past uh, two months already. But uh, as you can see, ngayon, ngayon pa lang tayo nagkita face to face. So I would like to say thank you for choosing Central Philippine University to be your school and to begin your tertiary education for this annual year 2020 and 2021. We look forward for your meaningful experience with us and for your adventure on this first ever online technical teaching. Sa mga andito sa taas, uh, is CPU your first choice? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. so CPU talaga ang first choice nyo. Uh, so, okay, may ipagita yung mga mukha nyo. Yung mga pogi at maganda yung mukha. Okay, so first choice, no? Actually, CPU was not my first choice. Uh, my first choice when I entered college is uh, UP. I took up uh, an entrance examination for UP, the OPCAT exam. And uh, by God's grace, I was able to pass there in UP. But uh, for some reason, God has another purpose in my life. And instead of choosing UP, I chose CPU instead. No? Uh, probably along the way, it will tell you the reason why I chose CPU instead of UP. But uh, despite of that, I never regret my decision of choosing CPU as my university and my school. Actually, I'm still a student in CPU right now. I'm taking up my Master of Theology. Uh, that is my third masteral, actually. Uh, but uh, I hope to graduate uh, within this school year. By God's grace, God willing, no. But uh, somehow, due to the due to the schedules, no, I had a problem with the the time management. But I hope that by God's grace, I will be able to finish in time. So welcome to CPU. So the course title is Christianity in a Changing Society. So there are a lot of religions, but uh, in this of course, we will focus more on Christianity. Of course, you have the Islam faith, you have the Buddhist faith. Uh, in the first uh, subterm, I have uh, a student who is a 
a Buddhist, no? but uh, I'm happy that he is also uh, joining and uh, cooperating in our class. In the second subterm, I have also a student who is an uh, Islam no? from the Muslim faith. But I'm happy that she also enjoyed our class despite the difference in religion. And I have also an atheist student, no? a student who does not believe in God. But uh, I hope that through this course, you will be able to know more about Christianity in a changing society. So our course description is, it seeks to present a general overview of the Bible and the life and teachings of Jesus Christ. So, if you studied in CPU for your senior high school, probably you have learned a lot more about the Bible since you have a Bible subject in senior high. I think you have four Bible subjects. As a matter of fact, uh, before I proceed to college, uh, since uh, there was a, a transition with regards to share in the first uh, and second year of the, the pioneering years of our senior high school. And of course, the life and teachings on overview, but we will focus more on the life and teachings of Jesus. But I hope in the past, uh, in the coming six weeks or so, you'll be able to know more about Christ and his teachings. Next is our content. So today is our introduction, orientation, expectations, and as well as we will learn more about Metricat in a while. But tomorrow, we will have our individual introduction in our classes. No? So let's proceed to our modules. Module 1 is about the prior and CPU. So we will know more about prayer. So tomorrow in our uh, individual classes, we'll discuss more about prayer. What is prayer? And uh, what are the elements? And we have, we'll be able to answer the frequently asked questions about prayer. And on Wednesday, uh, she will be watching a video about the short or the brief history of CPU. So that is uh, all about module one. Okay. So sang nandito sa taas. Uh, saan kayo nag-high school? Dito rin ba sa CPU? Sino sa inyong sa CPU din nag-high school? Me, sir. Okay. Sino ba? Hindi ko magkita yung name mo. Napakaliit kasi. Same. 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 Okay. From CPU. So, I think you have learned more uh, about CPU already. But I hope through this brief history, you'll be able to know more about CPU. Sino pa bang dito nakasama ko? Si Sade? Si... Hindi ko magkita yung iba? How about you? Uh, um, how about the others? Saan kayo nag-school? Of course, si ano kanina sa Kapis, no? Si De Daniel from St. John. Si Bethem Hay, W.E. Saan kayo nag-school? Nang iyong uh, junior high, senior high as well. Sa Dumanga, sir. Parang muted. Ah, Dumanga. Okay, parang muted uh, si Bethem Hay. Okay. So, wag kang maiya, let them high, you know? They just feel at home. Okay. So, that is module one. Let's proceed to module two. And module two is all about the Bible. So, we will know about the different books of the Bible. So, sa kay Sade, since you studied in CPU Senior High, ilang books meron sa Bible, if you can recall? Said, are you there? Ilang books meron sa Bible kung naalala mo? Or uh, ikaw, Daniel, do you have an idea? Ilang books? 
66, sir. Alright, no? so we have 66 books of the Bible. Very good. No? So ngayon, uh, we will learn about the 66 books of the Bible as well as this, the brief description of these books. And we will also learn the divisions of the Bible. So we have five divis divisions in the Old Testament as well as five divisions in the New Testament. And of course, we will learn more about a simple history of the Bible and the frequently asked questions about the Bible. So let's proceed to Module 3. Module 3 is about the birth of Christ. So of course, malapit na lang yung December, malapit na yung Christmas, and we will be discussing about Christmas in time. No? But uh, we will get to know deeper the Christmas or the Nativity story. So that is in Module 3. But of course, we will learn also the religious and the political background of the birth of Christ. Next, let's proceed to Module 4. Module 4 is about the baptism and the temptation of Jesus. So dito malalaman natin uh, kung paano si Jesus nabaptize, kung ilang taon siya nabaptize, and what is the significance of his baptism as well as his temptation. Along with the temptations, I have added other lessons like uh, the three temptations that was given to Jesus. But of course, I have added also the seven deadly sins. No? Because temptation and sin are connected with each other. And of course, nandun din yung uh, paano natin lalabanan yung temptation sa buhay. Next, let's proceed to module 5. Module 5 is all about the calling of the disciples. So, dito malalaman natin kung paano tinawag ni Jesus yung kanyang 12 disciples as well as ano, uh, on sino-sino yung nas nasa 12 disciples. No? Ano mga nangyari sa kanilang mga buhay and uh, ano ang kanilang misyon na binigay ng Panginoon. And of course, Module 6. Module 6 is about the ministries of Jesus. Meron tatlong ministry si Jesus sa uh, class, no? Nauna dito yung the ministry of preaching. Nandun din ang ministry of teaching. And of course, the healing ministry. So tatlo yon PTH, no? Preaching, teaching, and healing. So tutu matutunan natin ano ba yung mga uh, kautusan at mga tinuturo ni Jesus. And we have module 7, second to the last, is the parables of Jesus. So we have actually about 40 parables that Jesus have uh, shared in the Gospels. And I think 10 of these parables will be uh, discussed by you. And the last is Module 8. By the way, uh, sa taas, ano favorite niyo na parable ni Jesus? Si Betam Hay. Ano favorite mo na parable ni Jesus? Ikaw, Daniel. Sir? Yes, sir? Ano ang favorito mong parable ni Jesus? Parable, sir? Yes? Uh, Meron ka ba ba na na parable? Do we, are we referring to the ones like the parable of the fishing net or the pearl uh, or something, something like, sir? Uh, ah. Yes. <laughs> um, sir, ano eh, I haven't studied about it yet, but uh, as far as I know, I think um, well, uh, I'm interested in the parable of the the weeds. <laughs> okay, the weeds and the tears. Yes, okay. sir. But uh, I think you will not be able to cover that. So, Masaguro, it's your assignment lang, no? To study it for yourself. Uh, but it's also yes, part sir. of the parables of Jesus. Yes. How about you, Said? Ano yung mga parable ni Jesus yung paborito mo? Silent mode si Said. Sige. So, proceed tayo sa last, which is module 8. Okay. So, death, uh, resurrection, and 
the ascension of Jesus Christ. Ito yung last lesson natin. Kung bakit ito yung finale, no? Uh, naputa, what is the very purpose why Jesus was born? That he died on the cross, but he never remained dead, no? He resurrected, and then he ascended into heaven. So we will discuss more about that in our lessons. So we have only eight modules in the subject, no? Konti lang. Uh, I hope that we can finish them on time. Punta tayo sa course outcomes natin. Yung una is, you'll be able to recognize the Bible as God's word and its importance to their total life. So you'll be able to recognize that the Bible is really God's word and uh, the importance of the Bible, that we'll be able to read the Bible in a daily basis. Yung ikalawa is, we'll be able to identify the books of the Old and the New Testaments. So sabi niya kanina ni Daniel, there are 66 books of the Bible. So I hope that by the end of this term, you will be able to memorize those 66 books of the Bible. And the third one is you will be able to trace the historical background of the world from which Jesus came. No? Ano, ba situa- ano ba yung situation uh, bago na pin- pinanganak si Jesus dito sa mundo? What are the political background, the context of the birth of Christ? So malalaman natin yan with this lesson. And the fourth one is we will be able to introduce to the life and the teachings of Jesus Christ. Of course, sa kanyang uh, baptism, sa kanyang ministry, sa parables, and yung buhay niya sa mundo. And finally, the last one is, we'll be able to establish a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. So this is, uh, actually, the subject is uh, not to, uh, what do you call this? Not to convert you to Christianity. Uh, or to a particular religion. So we're not talking about religion in the subject or uh, proselyting yours to a certain religion, but our very purpose is to introduce you to the life and teachings of Christ. And by the end of the lesson, it's still up to you if you wanted to put uh, your trust in Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. But that is the last outcome that we are expected to learn from this subject. So say inyo, Si Daniel, natanggap mo na ba si Jesus? Have you received him as your personal Lord and Savior already? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. So, very good. Ikaw, Said. And Bethany. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Yes, then thou. No? Okay. Sabi na ni Lawrence Anativo, yung kanyang favorite uh, uh, parable is the parable of the prodigal son. Wow. No? The lost son. And uh, si Lawrence nagsabi din na uh, siya from Oton National High School. Okay. And dito pala si Adrian Saldeheno. Shout out to Adrian Saldeheno. Bakit ngayon ka lang Adrian? What happened? Baka, ano ka nag-dinner ka pa? Okay. Let's proceed to uh, the preparations. Of course, uh, you are in the third term, probably. Uh, we just go roughly with this because I know full well that you are able to adjust with this kind of system. Of course, you need to have the canvas and lahat na kayo may canvas. And of course, the Zoom application and the uh, messenger. Of course, meron tayong group chat. No? Sino sa inyong wala pa sa group chat or may classmate kayo na hindi pa part ng group chat natin, please inform them. No? so that they will be able to be uh, familiar and uh, be aware of our activities in this class. Okay, so, yan. By the way, sa inyong subject before, ano yung ginagamit nyo na, na platform? Do you use Zoom or uh, WebEx or Google Meet? Sa 466, sa inyo guys, ano ginagamit ninyo? Last time. Daniel, ano Zoom, ginagamit sir. niya last time? Okay. Zoom, sir. Okay. So, sa so 4 to 7, anong ginagamit ninyo in your other subjects? Okay. Sabi ni Gadon, Zoom din, no? So, si Gadon is from 466 din. Si Mr. Well. So, 4 to 7, anong ginagamit niyo? 
So, 427, sinang nandyan? Okay. Sabi ni Nicole Dumangkas, Zoom din, no? And sabi ni Shanson, do you use also Google Meet and Ding Talk? I'm not familiar with the Ding Talk still. Uh, I think I'll try to explore it uh, somehow in the future. Sabi ni Miss Haen, she cannot uh, come and join our class because mahina daw yung connection niya. Anong, okay, 4 to 7, okay. So inform me kung may mga ganito kayong problem later on, no? Okay, so 435, anong ginagamit ninyo sa engineering class? So sabi ni Adrian, ginagamit nila is Google Meet uh, or Zoom, no? Meron ding, ding talk. Okay, so hindi pa ako familiar sa ding talk. Actually, in CPU, meron tayong WebEx na ginagamit na pwedeng free natin yung magagamit. Uh, but uh, of course, mahirap lang siya sa signal, no? Kasi it, uh, sa data pala, no? It uh, gathers a lot of data for the WebEx. But uh, we can use that also, no? So since most of you would are using Zoom, so we will use Zoom instead. And later on, no? We will uh, try to use this also. Uh, YouTube, no? Sa inyo yung last subjects, sino sa inyo nakagamit na ng YouTube? According kay Angela Liz Eroy, Discord, no? I heard also about Discord, pero hindi ko pa yun na-try. So, I, the best thing uh, in the case of Zoom is uh, uh, you can share screen at uh, makita mo rin yung lahat. The problem with the Google Meet is uh, sometimes limited lang yung makita mo, but you can download some applications or add-ons, no? Para makita mo yung lahat. And uh, ano pa ba? Sa so Discord, hindi ko pa yun na-try, pero sabi nila, okay din naman daw. Pero usually, I would use this platform, yung StreamYard, no? Kasama sa YouTube, para I can uh, meet all of you, kahit 100 pa or 1,000 kayo, na students ko, I can be able to meet you one time. The problem is, limited lang yung makakyat dito at maka-present. But the best thing about this is, for example, yung classmate nyo has a problem with the connection at the very moment, they can watch this still. Uh, they can replay this, no? Once they click the same link. So, magkita pa rin nila kung ano nangyari sa ating klase if they are absent for that time. The same is true, sabi din ni Claire Balayon, she has a problem with the connection Okay, si Claire Balayon, uh, hinagid connection sa bukid. Okay, so I understand your predicaments but uh, hopefully if you have a better signal, you can re-watch no, or replay our, our class in this session. Okay. What else? Uh, we have a textbook in this subject. Our textbook is entitled A Manual Towards Understanding Christianity. It was authored by uh, the four authors, uh, including yours truly. And it was uh, published by CPU Printing Press. And uh, it was copyrighted in 2018. So if you are, uh, you can uh, come there and buy our book. You know? So we have a book there. Pero kung malayo kayo, uh, don't, don't worry because we have also our modules with us. Na I'll be uploading and uh, nandiyan actually sa Canvas. All you need to do is just access it in Canvas. Okay, what else? So this is our online resource for the online lectures. Magkita nyo, actually this is my old, no? Dati ko itong YouTube uh, channel. This called Greek 101 with Sir JV. Because uh, I first used this uh, YouTube account during my summer class, no, where in my subject was Greek. So I was teaching Greek in the summer. If you can browse kayo sa aking, uh, channel, you can see there the modules that I taught uh, in the Greek, Greek subject. But later on, I changed that to Sir JVTV no? because I, will, I also included the lessons in my other subjects. So Greek 101. And of course, uh, for updates, we have the CPU News TV. And for more about the life of Christ, you can open uh, aboutjesus.org. But of course, there are a lot of sources in the online platform that we can use. No? So let's proceed to our class schedule. 
So our class schedule is Monday to Friday, and uh, it is three units, no? In the case of uh, the four, three, five, no? Our regular schedule is uh, seven to nine in the morning. So maaga pa, no? So be sure to wake up early. Si ha ay nakapasok na pala, no? So be sure to wake up early for our class tomorrow. Kaya hindi tayo magtatagal dito mamaya. Uh, Hopefully, we can end earlier, no? And uh, sa 4, if I'm not mistaken, sa 4.66 is, anong schedule natin ba? Hapon tayo, di ba? Uh, 9 to 11, no? Sa 4.66 is 9 to 11. And sa 4.27 is 3.30 to 5.30. So, that is our schedule. So, the first one is, uh, for our methodologies, the first methodology is, the YouTube lecture videos. So in this class, we will meet only twice or thrice per week for the synchronous learning. Uh, like this, now this is an example of a synchronous learning where uh, we meet uh, real time, uh, if not face to face, but online. <laughs> uh, but uh, we have another one, which is the asynchronous learning. And in you of the synchronous learning, we will have asynchronous videos for you to watch. No? So it's up to you when to watch it. But of course, uh, kailangan yung mapanood yan because it will be part of our lesson. So kanina, I have given you uh, one example of our uh, lecture video. Actually, this one uh, was shown there, no? Pero wala siyang voice. But in my other uh, videos, meron talaga siyang lecture, no? I would do lectures there. Actually, in CPU, katatapos na ng second term, meron kaming... Uh, training na, pina, na sinalihan, no? nag-attend kami, lahat ng mga teachers sa CPU, and we are required to make uh, 10 lecture videos per subject. No? But in my case, in the subject, meron tayong uh, more than 20 lecture videos. No? So almost every day, merong video na papanoorin nyo to be able to understand uh, lessons. No? So there are some videos that uh, are long, about 20 minutes, not that long, no? 20 minutes, meron din mga 10 to 15 minutes lang na video every day for you to watch. Okay, so that, that is for your asynchronous learning. So for the asynchronous, all you need to do is just comment on the video for your attendance, no? At uh, least na panood nyo yun, nalaman ko, just include your name as well as your stub code so that I can know that you have watched that uh, lecture video for your attendance for, for that particular day. The second one is the Zoom conferencing. That is two to three times per week or as needed. So bukas, tomorrow, don't forget our Zoom conferencing for tomorrow, uh, depending on our schedule. No? So prepare your short introduction about yourself. Pakilala niyo ka yung name, uh, yung nickname, and yung address kung saan kayo nakatira. And then the next one is your, ano ba yung mga A? Uh, some of you ay akyat dito at magbibigay ng kanilang mga talent. No? Merong magkakanta or play some instruments uh, to break the ice after having the class. No? Actually, nangyari lang yan ng second term, nang ginawa namin ng second term. Nung first term, uh, parang hindi pa namin nagawa, pero sa second term, nagawa namin. So I believe that we can do that also in the third term, so that you can showcase your talent as well. So, ano yung mga talent ninyo? What are your talents and skills? And uh, also, the last one is, well, who is your favorite Bible character? No? So, kindly research on it. Kung wala ka pang idea kung sino mga Bible characters, you research on that particular Bible character, and probably you will like them as your reference for tomorrow, tomorrow sharing, no? Next is the Canvas Assignments and Quizzes. Of course, you are familiar with this already. So this week, uh, we will be discussing Module 1, which is uh, Prayer and History of CPU. So doon na papaloob din yung ating assignment uh, na ibibigay ko bukas, yung first assignment natin. And uh, you will answer that. And also, ang quiz natin, first quiz, uh, this coming Thursday, no? yung ating first quiz about module one lang. So, madali lang naman yung quiz. No? And then, we have group activities in this class. No? 
So later on, uh, if we'll have this same uh, setup, we have Bible games, no? Ang ginawa, ginagawa ko is we have Bible games and uh, it is uh, contested by section, no? So, uh, for example, ngayon, may tatlo tayong section, tatlo din kayong section na maglalaban-laban to answer, no? So, sino man nanalo, no? uh, they, you will earn plus points as well as meron ding load prices, no? May mga prices kayo na matatanggap na load. Actually, uh, kung niisipin ko na ibigay ko na load from the first and the second semester, second term, siguro more than malapit ng 2,000 yung na ipimamimigay ko na load sa mga students, no? And of course, later tonight, no? Before we end, meron ding games din uh, para sa lahat, no? Kung sinong una makasagot, meron ding 50 pesos load from me. So, pwede nyo mapalanulin na mamaya. So, excited ka na ba, Daniel? Andiyan ka pa ba? Nalaglag nata si Daniel? Okay, si Saeed na lang at si ano natira dito. So, we'll have group games and activities. And the last is we have short film reflections. So, within these six weeks, every week may isang kayong panoorin na short film. No? So, yung short film na ito, eh, short lang, <laughs> kasi short film siya, uh, 10, min 10 to 20 minutes, no? And uh, with that, you will have a reflection for that film, no? Panunurin nyo lang siya, and then anong natutunan nyo na ma-reflect nyo in that film, and you just uh, comment that in your discussions, no? So makikita yan sa discussions sa canvas. So that is uh, another one. So parang nag enjoy na kayo, no? nanonood kayo ng movie, ng film, at the same time, natututo din kayo sa mga lessons. And the last one is the virtual group reporting. So bukas, after the orientation, I will be dividing you into several groups. And uh, I will be assigning you later on your uh, your report. No? Ang reporting natin, or reporting will be about the parables. So there are 10, 10 groups, and each group will be given one parable to discuss. No? So, in a while, I'll be sharing to you an example of that uh, reporting uh, para malalaman, malaman nyo kung paano siya gawin. No? So, kung may questions kayo later on, you are free to ask questions. Uh, so, may mga question kayo sa this uh, methodology. Andito sa taas, si Said at si Betim Hay, may question ba kayo? with regards to our class methodology. Si RJ Nunes, uh, Nunes uh, was here. Karating lang. Okay. So, kung wala question, diyan sa baba, may mga questions ba kayo? 81 million people in the house. If you have any questions, just comment down or type your questions so that I can uh, cater to that later on. Okay. Let's proceed to the grading system. In this subject, other requirements uh, include 15% of your grade. We have uh, quizzes, that is 25% of your grade. And then midterm exam is 25 also. And the final exam is 35%. So the biggest cut in our grading system will be taken from your final exam. No? So be sure to prepare for the final examination. By the way, your virtual report will be included in your final exam. Your virtual report will be 50 points, no? So, kung maganda yung report nyo, that will be 50 points. Sure na yon na madadagdag sa score nyo in the final exam. And for a total of 100%. So, this is the numerical grade equivalent for this subject. So, actually, last uh, term in my nursing class, no? In my nursing class, out of the 40 students that I had, 21 of them got a grade of 1.0. No, more than half of the class has a grade of 1.0. No, so I believe that you can do it as well if you just uh, give your best and study for the subject. And uh, let me roughly introduce myself. So my name is uh, G Pastor G V Jire Constantino. So you can call me Sir JV for short. I live in uh, Talakuan, Leon, Iloilo. Sino dito ang taga Leon? Does any of you here? Ang uh, taga Leon. 
Or malapit sa Leon, Alimujan, San Miguel, other towns. Meron ba dito? And uh, I graduated my Bachelor of Theology and my Master of Divinity in uh, CPU as well. So I am a true-blooded Centralian. Uh, so of the meantime, I'm also one of the pastors of the Christian Gospel Baptist Church. So as the pastor for administration. And uh, I'm also a full-time faculty of the Religion and Ethics Department of the College of Theology. So basically, yung buhay ko is Monday to Friday. Yes, uh, my work is in the school and weekends is in the church. So kumbaga, yung pahinga ko is only uh, kung mayroon tayong ano, asynchronous learning no? or probably kung mayroon tayong uh, mental health uh, day on Wednesday. But uh, of course, uh, we need also to ma manage our time and budget our time also. Si Adrian Saldejano, sabi niya, he is from Antique. So, Karaya ka din, Adrian. Saan ka sa Antique? Actually, sa Leon, Karaya man ang aming language, no? Ragama, uh, garagama, hindi kami maghambal, hindi sa Leon. Si Rachel Banyako, uh, anong message mo, na-retract? Okay, so that's all about me. And I hope that you can get to know me better as uh, the days go by. So you can contact me in Facebook, uh, JB Constantino. So there are some of you who would add me in Facebook, but uh, uh, my friends list now is uh, about over 5,000 now. So I cannot accept more. But uh, siguro probably in the coming days, I'll be uh, unfriending. <laughs> I unfriend ko yung iba, no? Yan, friend ko yung iba na mga hindi ka naman kakilala or mga ano na, may mga account na, in, ano na, inactive accounts. So, of course, uh, my YouTube is Rick101 or Sir JVTV. And you can email me in jjcconstantino at cpu.edu.ph. And contact me in these numbers. No? So, over emergency purposes. Okay, so that's uh, the first part of our activity, which is the orientation. Any question with regards to the orientation? Sabi ni Rena Care, Clarice Salarda, Karay Agid ko siya, no? So Karay Agid si Clarice. Okay, si pa ba nandito? Okay, nandito pa rin si Klim. Uh, kasama natin si Daniel. Uh, Amusta kayo dyan, class? Any questions? Can you open your camera? Ang uh, nandito sa taas. May mga tanungan ba kayo sa ating uh, sir, first part? Hi. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm sir, may question lang ko sir regarding okay, sa no. grouping sir, report. Um, ikaw ang ma-select yes. ng member, sir. Uh, I have uh, options actually. I, I can give you an option to choose for your own or it's up to me na lang to choose. But if you are to choose, uh, Daniel, would you want me to choose your groupings or uh, kayo na lang magpili? Uh, Ikaw, Siguro, okay. sir, para, para hindi maguro, mabudlayan mga tao, mag-adjust, bala, ma kami na lang guro, sir. Kaya mo na lang mapili. Okay. Yes, sir. So, Pero depende, siya mo, sir, hindi ako. <laughs> wala, wala. <laughs> okay, so, how about you, Clint? Do you have the same idea? or you have an, an opposite idea with that of Daniels? Same idea with Daniels, sir. <laughs> ah, same idea. Okay, supportive. Okay, how about you? Uh, Bea, the Atras, and uh, Erica Maniza. Ano sa inyo? 
Okay, sabi ni Adrian Saldejano from the 435, pili lang kami sir. Okay, sabi ni RJ Nunes, 466, pili daw, pili lang daw. Okay, so 427, any representative from the 427, ano yung thoughts ninyo? Kasi kung akong pipili, I would uh, rather choose alphabetically, no? So if you are 14 in the class, I will divide you evenly by 4. Tag-apat-apat yon. So 40 divided by 4, that is 10 groups. So according kay Galliano, choose your own na lang, sir, from 4 to 7. Some more thoughts from the 4 to 7? Okay, so if that's the case, ngayong gabi, uh, be after we end, you just uh, meet with your groups or with your friends, no, close friends, and tell me kung sino yung mga group mates ninyo. And tomorrow, uh, i-report nyo lang sa akin, no? Um, i-report nyo lang sa akin yung, yung groupings ninyo. Sabi daw ni Adrian, Margie, classmate tagali. Okay, Margie is actually from uh, 4 to 7. Ibang section siya. From 4 to 7, sabi ni Clarice, pili lang kami, sir. Okay, so, sige. I'll give you the freedom because it's your choice, no? So, kayong lang pumili ng app, uh, tatlo na kasama mo. And be sure yung pinili mo ay free, no? Hindi taken. Baka may agawan portion pa dito na mangyari. So, tomorrow, you just report to me your groupings and uh, we'll finalize it tomorrow. So, ni walang group, we'll have to accommodate them with others. Alright? So, is that okay with you? Daniel and uh, how about uh, Bea? And Erica? Yes, sir. Okay, no, sir. Okay. So, by the way, your group also will become your prayer group. No? So, in this class, Oh, we have an activity also na once a week. It's up to you actually. You want to meet once a week or every day, it's up to you. No? You can meet with your group uh, once a week or every day to uh, have this video conferencing and share your problems with each other. No? Where you can uh, share your mga problems and you pray for one another. That is part of our activity. And I'm happy sa ibang uh, subcode ko last time, in the first and the second subterm, kahit tapos ng klase namin, patuloy pa rin sila sa ganitong activity. No? So they, they pray for one another also. Okay. So, some more questions? May mga katanungan pa ba? Sa baba at sa taas? Nandito sa mga co-host ko ngayong gabi. Daniel, uh, Klim, and uh, Erica. Si Said, nandito pa rin. May mga questions kayo? Baka may gustong umagkat dito sa ibang uh, section. Uh, Ibababa yung hagdan and you can come up here. Just click the stream yard. No? Yes, uh, tomorrow, uh, Nicole, we'll have the synchronous learning. Sabi ni Nicole Gadon. So, tomorrow synchronous sa'yo, pero per section na lang. No? 7 to 9, pag mi ako sa 4, 3, 3, 5, 9 to 11, sa 4, 6, 6, and 3.30 to 5.30, sa 4 to 7. By section na, para may intimacy din tayo. No? You can talk the, with, your, with your, your classmates tomorrow. Pero gagamitin natin tomorrow, hindi ito, we will use the Zoom app application for tomorrow. So I'll send you the link tomorrow tomorrow for our synchronous learning uh, through Zoom platform. So prepare nyo yung is your skills and talents and uh, also your uh, character. Okay, so sabi ni Lawrence Maban, wala na sir, wala na question. So if there is none, let's proceed to the last part of our lesson for this evening which is the uh, another important lesson is the netiquette. So, netiquette na tayo class.
Okay, can you see my screen? Comment yes. Comment yes if uh, you can see the screen clearly. So let's proceed to the part two of our orientation. So parang review na lang ito uh, for us to be reminded of our netiquette. Actually, netiquette is uh, still in the process of, of uh, adjustment. No? So there are some rules that are added eventually over the years. Kasi we are new to this. May mga bagong rules pa na that you need another dog for us to develop more this kind of platform. So for the netiquette, it means using technology and social media wisely and responsibly. So thank you very much for uh, confirming yes. So what is netiquette? So netiquette are set of rules for behaving properly online where the instructor and students wish to foster a safe online environment. No? Because in the online platform, uh, there are dangers also. Uh, that's why we need to have a safe online environment. In this case, ang ating klase ngayon is unlisted siya. No? It means kung sino lang yung may link nitong ating uh, klase, yung makakapasok sa atin. Unless I will invite somebody uh, to join us. So sometimes I would invite a lecturer or a speaker. No, Last time I invited a doctor, a friend of mine, a pastor also who shared in our class. No? Pero kung sino lang may link, siya lang ang makaka-open. That's why we are protected uh, from others who would like to invade our class. No, So that's why 80 of you na nandito ngayon, 80 million ngayon na nandito, plus the those in the background, are only uh, invited in this class. Okay, there's an example dati daw, no? Na merong uh, sa Zoom ata yun, if I'm not mistaken. Yun yung problem sa Zoom or ibang, ibang platform kasi. Uh, others can hack, no? And may makakapasok na ibang tao. And uh, meron daw nagpasok sa kanyang klase at uh, they have shown their private parts, no? So it was a scandal that happened in the class. But in this case, uh, in this stream yard, pag may umakyat man dito sa hagdan, I'll be the one to, uh, what do you call this? Ako mismo ang magpapapasok sa kanila kung pwede sila magkita. No? So kung hindi ko siya kilala, I can uh, disregard that person. Andiyan lang sa background. No? Hindi siya makakita sa, sa ating main screen. So that's why it's still safer compared to other platforms. So the first rule is all opinions and experiences must be respected with a tolerant spirit of academic discourse. So whatever your outlook here, you are very much welcome to share your thoughts or ideas. No? So do not hesitate to share your thoughts. And we open all sorts of opinions here. No? So if you are an Islam or you're from the other faith, you're all open also to share your thoughts in the class. Second is, uh, bigyan natin ng role si Daniel. Please read number two. Nagkita mo ba yung sa screen, Daniel? Sir? Pakibasa yung number two. Ah, okay. Um, students are encouraged to comment, question, or critique an idea but are not to attack an individual. Okay. So when you do comment, be sure not to attack the individual. Now, sa ating comment box there, be sure uh, what you type will not uh, be a personal matter. No? Huwag atakihin yung, yung, uh, yung idea ng isang tao. Okay mo, you can question the idea but not to the first to the instance na personalan na, no? So kumbaga, eskwela lang walang personalan. Okay, thank you very much, Daniel. Number 3, Erica, please read. Erica, can you see the text? Silent modes, Erika. 
Si Klim, pwede mo ba sign? <coughs> yes, sir. Nang sa account screen, sir, may gatabon sa number 3, sir. Ah, may nagatabon siya. O oh, sige, um, i-try lang natin mag-o. Oh, sige. <laughs> Doon Do not dominate the discussion. Oh. Na tapos may tabon, sir. <laughs> Ayan, okay. okay na, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Number three. Do not dominate the discussion. Give other students the opportunity to join in the discussion. Okay. So, if you are discussing, do not dominate the discussions, no? But give chance for others to participate as well. So later on, ayan, binaba ko yung link. Uh, baka may gusto makyat, you can uh, come up here and share your thoughts also. Number four, uh, Erica, please read. Silent mo talaga si Erica. Baka tulog na. Are you still there? Okay, Daniel, ikaw naman, number four. Uh, do not use offensive language. Present ideas appropriately. Okay. Do not use offensive language. No? So, uh, walang behind, uh, below the, o nanaog na si ano, walang below, below the belt na languages. No? So, be uh, courteous in presenting your ideas or thoughts. Number five, uh, claim. Alternate na lang Number, dalawa. Yes, sir. Number five, be cautious in internet language. Do not capitalize all letters since this suggests shouting. Okay, so kanina si Adrian nag-capitalize. So I have seen that you have seen your uh, your mistake also. no? So do not capitalize your letters because it suggests shouting. So kung ano tayo, kung public itong ating... Ano tawag dito? Ang ating broadcast, uh, papaluin tayo ni Lolo, yung term nila, no? Or si Nightbot, I have a Nightbot also na si Nightbot na, mis Nightbot na mismo yung magdi-delete ng iyong answer dyan, no? So, on all caps, uh, at parang ano siya, ma 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 sa spam siya, no? So, madi-delete siya instantly. So, kaya magtataka kayo. Last time, merong... May question and answer kami. Sumagot siya ng all caps. So, nawala yung kanyang answer kasi in-spam siya ni Nightbot. No? So, do not capitalize all letters kasi it suggests shouting. Number six. Next. Daniel? Uh, popular emoticons such as I heart. <laughs> can be helpful to convey your tone, but do not overdo or overuse them. Okay, so you can use other popular emoticons, no? Pero hindi na puro emoticons na lang, no? You use words also to convey your thoughts. So kung may, may emoticons dyan, uh, feel free to share your emoticons. Sabi ni Lawrence Kinanoy, wala na sir, that was my smiley smiley. Sabi din naman ni Nicole Gadon, tatlong violet hearts, no? So those are examples of emoticons that you can use. Next, number seven. Avoid Kim? vernacular or slang language that could lead to misinterpretation. Okay, so when typing, of course, use a language like English. No? Some of comments write in English so that you can practice your uh, English skills. Uh, kasi kung slang or vernacular, probably it would mean to other readers or listeners. Okay, next, number eight. Dan? Never make fun of somebody's ability to read or write. Instead, share tips with other students. Okay, so that make fun. So, kung may mga ibang student na mali yung pagbasa, uh, minsan pinagtatawanan natin, no? We make fun of those students. Even some teachers, uh, we are not perfect also. Sometimes we have the slip of the tongue, no? Yung uh, mali yung pagpronounce namin minsan, tapos nagtatawanan na. So, be sure to uh, respect others, not to make fun of them if they make, commit mistakes, but to correct them in a proper way. Next. 
Keep an open mind and be willing to express your opinion. Minority opinion have to be respected. Okay, so be open, no? You need to have an open mind to share your opinion. So even though your opinion is uh, a minority, kahit na konti lang kayo naniniwala doon, you need to share that opinion. Because sometimes the minority opinion is uh, better than that of the majority. So hindi, ibig sabihin na kung majority opinion, yun ang tama. No? But uh, if you look a little closer, sometimes minority opinion has a better choice or opinion. Number 10. Next. Dalawa lang yung co-host ko eh. Nawala yung isa. Yung iba. <coughs> Sino na ba? Sige, ako naman magbabasa this time. Think and edit, edit before you push the send button. Always review what you need to post. No? So before you post something, think and edit first. There are times na nagmamadili tayo minsan, no? we send the push button, mali pala. No? But uh, we can correct that at times. No? You can just retract the message and type another one. No? But there are some cases na hindi mo talaga madelete, no? So be sure to think first and edit, uh, proofread first before you send. Next, number 11. Sino nang turn? Andyan pa ba kayo? Do not hesitate to ask for feedback. Okay, so do not hesitate to ask for feedback. That's why uh, sabihin niyo sa akin, in the comment box there, kung uh, choppy ako or hindi nyo ako maintindihan, no? Or yung screen ko, hindi nag-change so that I can correct it, no? So, do not hesitate to ask for feedback. And the last, using humor, using humor is acceptable. Okay, using humor is acceptable, no? So, kailangan natin ng humor. Dapat uh, hindi lang puro serious tayo dito sa klase, you can uh, have jokes also para makatawa naman tayo minsan. No? So there's a story about the teacher during their class. No? And uh, grabe serious ang teacher na nag-share uh, na kanyang lesson. And then sa kalagitnaan ng lesson, may umutot. <laughs> so may umutot. So sabi ng teacher, sino yung ano, sino nagpa-prank dyan? No? Sino yung uh, nag-disrupt na ating klase? So, sabihin nyo na, sabi ng teacher, umami na kayo kung sino may kasalanan, sino umutot sa klase. And then, uh, sabi ng isang student, actually ma'am, lahat kami nakamute, ikaw lang yung, yung mic mo lang yung open. No? So, huli si ma'am, si ma'am pala yung umutot. So, kasi nakamute yung lahat ng students. Of course, pag ganitong pangyayari, pag may umutot dito, ako lang yung naka-open yung, yung uh, audio, Wala na akong ibang, ibang, uh, ano pa, ituturo kundi sarili ko, no? So, those are, there are a lot of funny moments actually in the online class. So, we can uh, have fun at times, no? But that to the point, the uh, um, uh, jokes natin is clean jokes lang, no? Walang joke na maka dimin ng ibang tao. Okay, next. Wala na. So, the core values, the last one. Faith. No? So everyone, please read all together. Uh, kayo sa mga bahay, can you read it with me? It is the act of believing the things God has revealed about himself and acting on those beliefs. No? So faith, it is believing without even seeing and applying, putting your faith into action. Number two is justice. All together. It is righteousness or lawfulness and fairness. It is observing due process in administering the deserved punishment or reward. So as teachers, we should be just in giving you the proper grade that you deserve. So if you deserve a grade of 1.0, we shall give it to you. If you deserve a grade of 3.0, then it's up to you then. No? Kung paano nyo. Actually, we, are, we the teachers are just uh, solving your grades. It's you are the ones are making your grades. No? Kami dito ay nagsusolve lang ng inyong grado. 
But uh, of course, sometimes as teachers, we exercise uh, mercy as well. No? Pag nakita namin na isang student is uh, also uh, giving his best in education, so we give leeway na bigyan ng chance na makapasa yung student. Number three is, altogether, stewardship is the proper and responsible management of life, position, possession, and other resources entrusted by God to man. So we are given this uh, social media platform, uh, online platforms. That's why we need to use this responsibly. And of course, ang pinaparal ng teachers nyo, nyo, ng mga parents nyo sa inyo, dapat gamitin nyo for your load, no? Hindi sa ibang bagay. Number four is character. It is the aggregate feature and traits that form the individual's nature of a person, moral quality, and good report. So dito hindi lang yung talino yung binibuild up natin, kundi ang character ninyo, no? Na magiging mabuting ta tao kayo later on. And finally, it is the highly excellence. It is the highly commendable quality or feature of a person's worth and or deeds. That is excel, no? But by the way, ano ba yung ating motto sa CPU? Yung ating, uh, ano pala, uh, vision, Kim and Daniel. Can you memorize our vision sa CPU? Yes, what is sir. our vision? It stands, I know. Univers Ay. It is? CPU vision. Sir. Excel. What do you mean by Excel? Uh, vision. A university. Continue. A university. Sir? Yes. Continue. Yes, sir. Anand, sir. Ano ating uh, vision sa CPU? A vision. Ay. Vision. Ikaw yung balang. Mula ko yung. Sige, yung balang mo lang. Eh. CPU uh, vision. Recite it, Clem. CPU Vision, a university committed to exemplary Christian education for life or excel and responds them to the needs of a total person or world. Okay. Responsive to the needs of the total person and the world. Very good. No? So that is our vision, Excel. So you need to excel in everything that you do. Be the best accountant that you can be or an engineer in the case of our engineering students. So let's take a look at the uh, core values. Faith include commitment, cooperation, trust, and confidence. So we need to have faith. That means you are committed to a particular, particular task. And uh, also you put your trust and confidence in God. Of course, CPUs, uh, what is the, the motto of CPU? <coughs> si Daniel, ano motto ng CPU? Anyone from the below? Okay, sabi ni Cole Gadon, Assemblary Christian Education for Life. How about the motto? Ano bang motto ng CPU? Anyone can comment the motto of CPU? So Daniel, can you memorize the motto of CPU in three words? No, sir. Three last words. <laughs> I, know. I do not know, sir. Anyone I don't know. From, uh, uh, sa ilalim? sa ating uh, 78 million people in the house. Okay, sabi ni Kevin Obinia, Sciencia et Fides. That's right. Very good, Kevin. Huh? So, Sciencia et Fides is our motto in CPU. Science or knowledge and faith. Huh? That's why we have faith there as part of our, our motto. And what else? Justice. It includes fairness, equality, morality, and peace. So self-explanatory already. About stewardship, it includes service, accountability, culture, and outreach. So that's why in CP we have outreach activities. Pero dahil sa pandemic, our outreach activities were curtailed at the moment. Hopefully, next year, no? uh, God willing, makabalik na tayo sa old normal that we used to have. And see each other face to face. We have character. This includes honesty. Humility, loyalty, and integrity. Huh? So, 
I would like to give emphasis on honesty kasi ngayon online platform, there's a big chance for you to to cheat, no? Kasi wala nanonood sa inyo. But I encourage you to be honest all the more. Kasi it's still for you, no? Kasi in your case, you have your, meron kayong mga, uh, ano tawag dito, board exam later on, no? So kung ngayon, nag-cheat kayo, how much more sa board exam? Ano na kaya mangyayari? So you need to study well so that you will be prepared for the upcoming board examinations. So in the engineering, no mechanical engineer, as well as in the accountancy, meron kayong board exam. So ngayon pa lang mismo, you need to learn to be honest and humble, loyal, and persons with integrity. And finally, excellence. This includes competence, technology, scholarship, and research. No? So you need you can compete with other countries, so other students in other universities, and uh, explore scholarship and research. No? So, sino dito sa inyo mga scholars? Si Daniel, sino natira dito sa taas? Si, ikaw na lang? Sir? Okay, are you a scholar, Daniel? No, sir. Uh, scholar ka ng parents mo? <laughs> Go. No, sir. Uh, Okay. Hindi ka rin sa lang ng pera. So, nagpapakas sa iyo. Ang ano, sir? Sino nagpapakas sa iyo? Ang mother ko, sir. Ang mother ko, sir. Scholar ka ni mother mo. Scholar ka pa rin ni mother mo. Okay. Sa baba, sino dito yung mga scholars? sa CPU. Sino nakatanggap, no? Sa accountancy, actually, uh, maraming mga scholars dyan, no? They were valedictorians before, ang tawag ngayon mga uh, with highest or honors or with high honors. Uh, may comment pala dito si Trisha May Malayang from BS8427. Okay, wala ako comment uh, kay uh, hindi maka-comment. Okay. So, thank you, Trisha. By the way, uh, kung mag-open kayo minsan, yung mangyayari is uh, kung i-click yung ang link, you will be redirected to a Google Google uh, application. You just click the three dots there. No. Let me show you. Kung i-click nyo yung, yung link kanina, you will be redirected to this uh, portion. So may magkita kayong tatlong dots dito sa, sa upper right portion. You just click it here and open in YouTube. At i-redirect kayo sa YouTube. No? So ito na. Uh, there, pwede na kayong maka-comment. No? Pwede na kayong maka-sabi uh, ng mga thoughts ninyo. So sabi ni Kevin Abinia, nag-hi uh, siya at si Crystal Jen Puig. Me, sir. Ano sabi ni Crystal? You are a scar scholars, no? So, si, we have Kevin here with us, no? Scholar. At saka si uh, Crystal Jen Puig. Scholar din, no? Si Crystal Jen Puig. So, maraming mga scholars. So, very good, no? So, pagpatuloy niyo yung scholarship niyo until the end. Actually, sa theology, uh, we have scholarship also. Uh, if you are from the Convention of Philippine Baptist Churches, you are automatically uh, part of 50% scholarship. No? Meron ka ng 50% scholarship. And kung mag-second year ka na sa College of Theology, meron ka ng 75% scholarship. Kung mag-third year ka na, you are 100% uh, uh, free of your tuition. Kung fourth year ka na, kahit na yung miscellaneous mo, wala ka nang babayaran. No? So, so doon yun yung benefit ng theology. Baka may gusto sa inyo mag-shift dyan, no? Uh, why 
you not uh, if you have the calling. Okay? So, may mga katanungan kayo with regard sa ating sa yung yes, uh, yes, uh, Bea, Sra? Yung question about that? Ating mga co-host dyan, bumaba kayo na, wala na kayo? Mga co-host ko dyan, na mga guwapo at magaganda. May mga tanungan ba kayo? Diyan sa ilalim, do you have questions? Do you have any questions sa ibaba? Wala? Okay, so kung wala kayong katanungan, uh, let's proceed to an activity for... This activity is uh, for 50 pesos load. Are you excited? So yung mga co-host ko, since makakakapagsalita kayo, you are uh, you are exempted, no? Pero kung gusto niyo sumali, you can just uh, comment comment na kayo. Bawal yung magsalita, no? Kasi kung magsalita kayo, have a lot of options for answers. Uh, but sa mga co-host ko, pwede yung basahin diyan, no? Pwede yung mga comments nila. So, are you ready for 50 pesos load? Ang gagawin natin is may papakita ko sa inyong mga uh, words, no? So, you fill in the blanks. Say yes kung ready kayo. Okay, sabi ni Bea Angeline Ascura. Angelia Ascura. We have a CBTW tomorrow. Uh, meron tayong session sa, sa umaga and we have a session in the afternoon. So in our case, uh, for so for 6-6, six, six, dahil umaga yung klase natin, you can attend the session in the afternoon. No? And uh, sa hapon naman, dahil hapon tayo, uh, you can attend the session in the morning. So kung may klase tayo sa umaga, you attend in the afternoon, kung sa hapon, in the morning. By the way, in this uh, case then, uh, you can watch it uh, replay. No? Pwede nyo rin panoorin replay kasi online din yung ating CEW. So dahil online siya, kahit anong oras, pwede nyo rin panoorin. Okay, si Dia Kuna, dito bala si Dia Kuna from 466. And then si Aguilar, all right. Okay, so 466, actually, complete attendance na kayo. Very good. Ang sa 427, yung wala pa, uh, say present, kung nandito ka, si Suplico, Jean Matthew, si Vian Primarleon, Mika Ligaspi, and si Lawrence King, si Dara Ilaria. Sila yung absence sa 427. Sa 435, ang uh, wala pa, Nakatay na si Joffrey Anatan, si George Batan, si Krent Eslayer, Angelo Gallio, John Guevara, si Alexis Piolo, Joshua Pertes, Clifford Reyes, and Yujiro Soda, and si Daniel Yap. Sinong uh, sa mga na-mention ko, sino sa inyo ang nandito? Kindly comment. Okay, so probably uh, wala sila or hindi nila alam yung ating activity. So kindly add them later on sa ating group chat. Okay, so are you ready? So say yes, yes. They so very said thank you. And Ascura, thank you. Present si Ilaria. Okay, Ilaria is here. Dana Ilaria. Sino pa dito? Si Nika Ligaspi. Is uh, present also. Okay. Okay, so let's start our uh, game. Okay, first uh, question. So all you need to do is comment the answer. No? Comment lang kayo ng sagot. And then uh, the first one to get the correct answer will win uh, 50 pesos load. So say yes. Okay. So 
So the first one, we have, uh, can you see it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine letters. Okay, kindly guess the word. So guess the word. Type the word. Nine letters. In a while, magdadagdag ako ng mga missing uh, words or letters. Any guess? Any guess? Magdadagdag ako ng missing letters in a while. So, anyone? Guess? Patungkol din ito sa ating mga lessons in the subject. Clue. Oh, sige, magdadagdag ako ng isang letter. Okay. Anyone? Etiquette? Future lessons natin ito sa subject. Connected then. Etiquette? The last letter is T. T yung last letter. I'm not sure kung... Okay. Last letter is T. So private chat, may chat din. Okay. Okay, wag yung mag-chat dito sa private ta. Uh, Asa na taas. Doon kayo mag-chat sa ibaba. Okay, may sumagot na. Okay, din kay uh, uh, Arnin sa so, Vendia Testament. Okay. So, correct answers. Um, stop. Stop, stop, stop. The correct answer is Testament. So, how do you get the correct answer? I like what? Yung una. Let's get it. Ito. We have Arnin Grace from Delia. Tama sa mga co-host ko dyan. Tama ba si Sabelia? Okay, so the correct answer is C. Arnin Grace Sabelia. Anong stop code mo, Arnin Grace? Arnin Grace Sabelia, what is your stop? So you receive 50 pesos load. Bukas, uh, sabihin lang kita kung uh, paano ma-re-receive yung, yung price. Okay. Next, are you ready? Type yes pag ready na. Type yes pag ready na. Okay, Lawrence is ever ready. Sabi ni Lawrence, ready, ready. Type yes. You are ready for the next uh, item. 50 pesos load. So, we type ko muna dito yung ano. Okay, so the next word. Ito ay... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Eight letters. Eight letters. Eight letters. For 50 pesos load, eight letters. Okay, comment na. Nasa taas, can you comment sa uh, iba ba? Huwag kayo sa private chat, mag-comment. Doon kayo sa comments mismo. Okay, si Ken Philip de Liomes, testament pa rin daw. Natapos na tayo dyan, Ken Philip de Liomes. Answer na. Answer, eight letters. Any guess? Okay, magbibigdag ako ng uh, another word. Uh, 
Another letter pala. Okay, guess. Type the answer. Testament to Lawrence Anativo. Tapos na tayo sa Testament, Lawrence. Delay ka siguro. So, pag nadidelay kayo, all you need to do is double click the the screen para mag-fast forward siya. No? Baka late ang uh, pag-load sa inyo. Be sure that you are uh, kept track with uh, every one of us. Okay, anybody guess? Metaphor, mali. PH na yun, ayon Dave. Uh, but nice try. Metaphors. Eight letters lang tayo. Eros Beno, metaphor din. Mali. There's Tissel. Metaphor, mali. Loser. <laughs> si Lawrence, parating clue yung iniingi. Mag-isip kayo, use your head. <laughs> okay, clue. Uh, it is a Greek word. Its uh, etymology is from the Greek word. But it is uh, also considered an English word already. Uh, it means the change of heart. A change of heart. Okay, stop. Stop. Okay. Actually, may nakakuha na ng tamang sagot. Nakakuha na ng tamang sagot. The correct answer is, ang bilis, galing. Okay. The correct word is, the correct answer is, metanoia. So, yung nanalo si Kevin Obinia. Or metanoia, no? It means a change of heart. So, by the way, metanoia is uh, the title of one of the short films. Ito yung title na isang short film na panonood rin yon uh, in our class. So, si Kevin Obinia. Anong start code mo Kevin? Four six six. Kanina si Savelia four six six then. Okay. Bawi kayo 4 to 7 and 4 to 5. Dapat makasagot din kayo ng tama. Okay, next. Next tayo. Okay, the next. For 50 pesos load. Metanoia din, sabi nila, pero may nauna na si Kevin Onabia. Okay. So, magbibigay ako ng another letter. That's letter T. T yung idinagdag ko. Yung clue is tao siya. Tao. May nagsumagot na pero mali, mali. Si Tizel at si Icy. Pare yung sagot pero mali. It's wrong. Okay, last clue. Sabi ni Angela Liz Eroy, watermelon. <laughs> watermelon. Pwede rin. Watermelon. Okay, stop. Ang bilis nila, ang galing. So, may nakasagot na ng tama. The correct answer is
Okay, tamang sagot is Bartholomew. So, isa sa mga disciples ni Jesus. So, nakakuha dito si IC, pero may nauna si Adrian, Wilson, K, Adrian pa rin, Angela, Okay, si John Rovan, tama. Pero may mas na una. Si Kevin, si Simon. Okay, meron ang nakasagot na tama. We have Simon Aguirre. Tama, Bartholomew. Okay, from stop code. 435. Wow. From the engineering department. Very good. Simona Gire. Okay. For the last yung uh, huling katanungan. Okay. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 letters. Ang dami, no? 18 letters. And a private comment, uh, si Rhea. Dito kayo mag-comment sa iba ba, hindi sa private. Okay, clue? Okay, clue. Eighteen letters. Any guess? For one hundred pesos load. One hundred load. So four to seven, wala pa nanalo. So it's your turn. Okay, anybody want to guess? May rap? Okay, another letter. Thesaurus. Okay, another clue. Angela Lee's Eroy Thesaurus Char. Okay, it is a belief of uh, the Roman Catholics with regards to the Lord's Supper. Yung paniniwala ng mga Roman Catholics with regards to the Lord's Supper. Okay, stop. May nakakuha na? Okay, so the correct answer is Okay, the correct answer is transubstantiation. So, yung una nakakuha ng tamang sagot Sabi ni I.C. Maris Chanson, love is the answer for everything. Are you sure, I.C.? Not in this question. No? Sabi ni Angela Liz Eroy, Transformers daw. <laughs> okay. Sabi ni Angela din, Thanksgiving. Ang tamang sagot is transubstantiation. So, yung nanalo is si Sophia Diawara. Anong section is Sophia? From 466 pa rin. So, congratulations sa ating mga winners. So, Sophia Diawara. By the way, transubstantiation is the belief of the Roman Catholics 
that when the priest would raise the bread and the cup, it uh, symbolizes uh, or it becomes the real body and blood of Christ. Nagtatransform talaga yung, ba, the, yung uh, wine at saka bread into the real body and blood of Christ. So matututunan natin later on yan uh, when we talk about the Last Supper of Jesus Christ with His disciples. So congratulations to our winners. Uh, for 50 pesos low, we have Simon Aguirre. We have uh, Kevin Obinia. We have... Uh, sino yung isa? Arnin Rosa Velia. And the 100 pesos load goes to Sophia Diawara. So congratulations sa ating mga nanalo. Say congrats to your classmates na mga nanalo. And uh, I hope that uh, you have learned a lot today, tonight. So thank you very much for your time, class. Uh, before we end, let's have a closing prayer. Uh, tayo po yung manalangin. Sa aking mga co-host dyan, sino sa inyo ang uh, would like to would, you, would like to lead up closing prayer? Say Joy, would you like to lead a closing prayer? Erica? Daniel, would you like to lead a closing prayer? Okay, so if you want Gcash, uh, pwede rin, no? Uh, sa mga nanalo, pwede din Gcash. Uh, we'll talk about it tomorrow in our class. Sabi ni Angel Lee the Dawn. So sa 4 to 7, bawi na lang tayo next time. Of course, meron pa namang next time. We'll have a Bible quiz activity later on. And uh, ganito din ating setup sa Bible quiz. You'll meet uh, in this uh, platform. No? So bawi kayo. It's not too late. Sige. Sinong gusto mag-lead ng prayer sa mga co-host ko? Closing prayer tayo. Kung sinong uh, yung ano, na-touch ng Holy Spirit na mag-lead ng prayer. Is it you, Say Joy, Daniel, uh, Beth M. Hay, Erica? Yung mga co-host ko, mga silent mode. Sino gusto mag-lead ng prayer? Anybody from my co-hosts? Daniel? Daniel, can you lead the prayer? Andiyan ka pa ba? Daniel? Sir? Sir? Uh, uh, can you lead the closing prayer? Oh, oh, sure, sir. Sige, sir. Okay. Okay, everyone, let's uh, bow our heads and let's have this sort of prayer with Daniel. Okay. Um, let us feel the presence of the Lord. Um, dear Lord, I thank you for everything that we have been going, for what we have been receiving throughout our lives. Today, <coughs> we thank you. We deeply thank you for all of the blessings, of all the reasons to live, and for all the happiness that we've received by your grace. I thank you for having us, for giving us the time with Sir JV for us to know uh, the course that we're about to take, which is about emphasizing your will and your grace and your grace. Lord, I hope that you will continue to uh, bless us with your grace and help us protect us from everything that we are about to go through to everything that we are going through and give us plenty of reasons to uh, stay positive and look up to you uh, even at this uh, struggles we ask this to your son jesus christ and to the heavens and uh we thank you lord thank you amen amen, amen. 
Okay, thank you very much, uh, Daniel. So, everyone, thank you very much and uh, God bless. Kuya sila, sabi ni Jet Adriana Mello. See you tomorrow in our class and uh, sleep early class. And uh, sa 4.35, uh, magkita ito yung bukas ng umaga tomorrow at uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. So, gumising kayo at uh, magpapogi and uh, magpaganda for class tomorrow. So, once again, thank you. God bless sa mga co-host ko. Pwede nyo ipagkita yung mga mukha ninyo. Yung uh, camera nyo, can you open your camera so that uh, you can say hi and say goodbye to your classmates as you can uh, see each other tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone. Uh, thank you very much, Daniel, for being my co-host for tonight. And even for my silent co-hosts, si Say Joy, uh, Betim Hay, and Erica. Thank you very much sa inyo. Magandang gabi. Uh, Erica, pakita niyo mukha ninyo. Say goodbye to your classmates. Daniel, uh, inom ka ng gamot para minubo ka na. No? Hope, uh, May COVID. Uh, hope stay safe. Ano? May COVID. No, sir. May COVID. Ganawa ka mag-joke ng ganyan. No? But uh, anyway, COVID is treatable. Kaya yung uh, magaling. Mapagaling. If you have... Uh, your medications, proper rest, no? So, thank you very much. Thank you, sabi ni Lawrence. See you tomorrow, Lawrence. Sabi ni Ira Francine Marquinia. Uh, Nilo Bernal, thank you very much. God bless. See you tomorrow. Uh, good night, sabi din ni Rena Clarice Larda. And uh, Badoya, thank you, sir. Thank you also. Uh, Margie Galliano. Good night and God bless everyone. See you tomorrow. Thank you also, sabi ni uh, Marisa Carapista. Thank you, sir. Sabi ni Crystal Jen Puig. We have Oves. Good night. Uh, Oves, good night too. Thank you. Sabi ni Janela. And Icy Sanson. Thank you also. And uh, Bea Angelina Spara. Thank you very much. So to the rest, good night and uh, see you tomorrow in our class. Uh, sleep well and uh, have a good night's sleep. God bless you and praying for your safety, everyone. Nicole Angelica Don, uh, 466 for the win. Uh, 466 tonight, I night ng 466. But uh, hopefully, uh, 427 and 435 will, uh, will uh, shine next time. See, John Rovan Barrios, thank you also. And uh, ours enjoy some polio. Virtual hugs coming from Lawrence and Ativo. Thank, La thank you, Lawrence. I want to hug all of you also for a virtual hug na tayo muna kasi sa COVID. Okay, so thank you very much. Good night and God bless. See you tomorrow in our classes. This is Sir JV signing off. In 30 seconds, bye-bye.